Right, a super quick video, because uh, we've got to go to um, uh, Thomas Land now, so this is going to be super quick. So this one here on the left is the HTC Desire S, it's the new version of this, the HTC Desire, on the right hand side. Now obviously the Desire is still a cracking handset, they've both got 1 gigahertz processors. As you can see, the Desire S does not, uh, does not have a um, trackball, trackpad should I say, for, uh, optic trackpad. But it does have, on the top here, the front facing camera for video calls. As you can see I've got a HSDPA signal here. We've got, uh, there was some confusion when we went to Barcelona over what version of Android this was running. They were telling us actually Android 2.4. But if we go into here and the settings and then about phone, you can see in the software information it's actually running Android version 2.3.3. Uh, obviously the same similar sort of one gigahertz chip on here on the back we've got a five megapixel camera with the flash but the HTC Desire S has a um, strong unibody design so it's all one piece of metal this back panel here slots down and in there you've got the micro SD card and the SIM card uh, let's just take the Desire out of the way now on the sort of right panel, you can see I haven't put the battery pack on properly battery panel on properly, right panel is um, bare the top has a 3.5mm audio port on the power the left hand side has the repositioned micro USB slot for plugging in to your computer using it as USB mass storage and for charging and you've got the power, um, the volume there on the left hand side and on the bottom just your microphone these two panels here are rubberized on the bottom when it focuses any time today that would be great, let's just zoom in instead so the HTC rubber panel there if we get the phone back like that you can see it's had some improvements you can quickly go into personalize and you can personalize the phone like that. Now, uh, down the bottom panel, we've got these touch sensitive buttons home, menu, back, search. And the search button obviously takes on different features depending on what application you're using. Um, still got the 1 gigahertz processor, got the uh, GPS, uh, and it's got a slightly more onboard memory than the old Desire over there. So you can store a few more apps and run a few more apps on the Desire S. And we're going to be using this today, I'm going to be taking it round Drayton Manor Park and Zoo. So this is just a really quick day one overview of the Desire S. And I welcome all your questions as normal on CoolSmartphone.com. And uh, we'll endeavour to answer them as the week goes on. Because we've only got this for a week. There you go, you can just see me zipping through the HTC Sense interface here. So give us a shout with any questions that you may have.